Sure. We are playing with a new library. This is a really cool library. This is Uniflow. You get those tingling sensations from the audio. What if you combine that with synthesis? That was the question this library addresses. What if you put sound effects that have unique motion that don't have pitch, for the most part, with pitch synthesis? All sorts of things. There's rhythm, you're gonna hear wave drums, because there's a wave drum drum kit. That motion and stuff. That's the unique stuff of Uniflow. That's what this library is all about, is exploring, putting these kind of sounds in other contexts. What if you take this and you put it with a pad? Like Pure Dark. Here's Pure Dark by itself. Let's combine it. list for Guru Sampler. There's over a hundred samples. Some are multi-samples. Up here the pads and stuff, they're multi-samples and stuff like that. But there's all of these really cool ASMR just because that's the spine tingling sensation. It's kind of a way to describe it. So you can easily choose any of these and layer them with any other plugin you own. This is Unify. You've got the ability to go over here and say, oh, I want to use Omnisphere. So you just say empty layer, right click, say Omnisphere have on us here <laughs> and we could go to like uh, let's just go to oh just for fun since we have everything here let's go keyscape to like the double felt or something like that we could say cinematic so we're adding a double felt with a pad <laughs> The idea is to combine synthesis and sound effects and find really interesting variations on that theme. And you're going to find 233 patches that explore that concept. Really, really, really fascinating and useful and unique and nothing else sounds like it. So it's win, win, win all around. There's three drum kits. There's a wave drum drum kit. I recorded these drum kit samples. I worked on the wave drum as a sound designer and made the patches and worked on the algorithms years ago. I still have a number of wave drums. So I sample it every now and then. And these were used for all sorts of BPM perks. So all of these. Our sequence is using the wave drum kit. And then if you go over here to BPM kick, 
you'll find there's a whole bunch of kicks. Uh, Matthias, who is, Matthias Sauer is the gentleman that made this library. It's his third library for us. He sampled a whole bunch of really cool kicks. And then you go to the BPM basses. So there's so many places to go. I'm going to give you just kind of, there's no way I can play all 233 patches. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> Sorry, but um, I can show you one of the really fun things is to call up one of these ASMR patches where it's just a single layer by itself. You can open up Guru Sampler and you can go to this list and check out Maybe you like that, but it's like changes to a high pass filter. Bring these guys down so that. Just find the frequencies that you want. And then you can go find something else to layer with this. Let's go down to the pads again. We go like marvelous and load this. To be less defined, you can call up effects. Over here, we could say just something, some unify. Let's go to water verb, put it at 100%. Be more into an ocean of stuff. sorts of ways of using these opening sound effects by themselves. It is cool. It takes me back to the future sounds of London. Some of those early bands in the 90s that were into this kind of music. Some have enough pitch that you can use them as a pad by themselves. Others you definitely can't. It's just an, an element. Layer this with a bass. You know, off you go. All right, then we get to the bass patches. Again, all of these are not just basses just to be a bass. It's a bass plus those sound effects and the different ASMR type of elements. Things that will create tingles and stuff like that, you know. The other thing you can do, hit solo to find the element you want, and then turn on pump house for that layer. And like maybe make it instead of that shape, give it to be an actual pulse. So you have, this is kind of like what we did with Magic Motion. Because now it becomes more structured. It's not just something just going by itself. Uh, Context. If you were to go over here, have this be with a BPM kick, right click, add this. Right? 
then add a BPM percussion thing, let's see, BPM perk. Go each one of these layers, like this layer of the percussion. Shorten it, raise the pitch. So this all, I, I, you know, it's it's open. <laughs> open season to do all sorts of fun things with this stuff. So uh, let's see other bases, Subterra. <laughs> uh, ASMR Bells of Peace is really cool. Love it. So BPM ARP. Kind of starts to put the whole library together. And just to show you how fun and quick it is, I'm just going to do this to this one, then you'll get the idea for others. If you right click on the C minus two for all of these and then say like middle C. And then you go down here to like a BPM bass and right click and say load that as well, but go to the G8, right click and say B. And now, and then you might want to play around with a mix of elements and so forth like that. So you'd want to bring everybody down. Kick needs to be those prominent thing in the mix, so. And in some cases, I go over here to the EQ, to loudness. That's a little heavy. So you can get the mix Get it all set, play with the different elements. So the BPM patches all work very, very nicely together. So just to give you an idea, I'm gonna play some more of the BPM ARPs. Some have the kicks. So here is Balaga. Percussion things flying out everywhere, all that kind of stuff. Fish swamp, really cool. Love that. Uh, hydrogen. So many fun ideas here. Parallax. Right? 
Sedna. So it's got a really cool chill vibe, lo-fi vibe if you want that kind of stuff. Here's a fun one. Go up here and save Varuna. I took and I used the wave drum kit and I made a... a groove and then I made a BPM patch. Uh, Matthias made the original BPM ARP. I made the drum groove and then I made the BPM groove. So you've got the... Bass, got pads, the drum groove. So you can build and play with these in really fun ways. But it all started with the original one that Matthias did. So that's fun. You can basses. Layered with cool elements. Here's the liquid acid. that off you go off beat calm i just keep wanting to write music to these so i, I gotta be really we'll get, we'll get through the video if i just keep doing that so tons of ideas Cool, cool, cool stuff. Um, I made four BPM grooves as my contribution and some other things here and there, but I, I made these split things, kind of combining everything together in the library. So Have all sorts of controls here for turning things off and on. There's elevated neutrons. And they all, again, kicks on and off and rods for all that kind of stuff. Uh, going with the flow. And then I showed you a minute ago, Verona in Love. Uh, Beeping Guitars is really cool. That kind of stuff, the island. Beginning of songs, all sorts of cool stuff. A uh, cave piano for the... Digital vintage. And then 
guys showing you all the different kicks. There's quite a few. Some different processing. Right? Uh, BPM leads. All ready to go. Retro charm. Scary Fox. <laughs> Trancy. Uh, Trancy too. Uh, Fox. Fox. <laughs> Find some of these hits and stuff in the drum kit down here. Uh, where is it? Drum kit, the perk and effects flow. Yeah. All sorts of fun stuff. Um, so yeah, BPM leads were where we left off. Let's get to BPM pads. Um, autumn. Fire on water. Really, really cool. Noise factor. Space choir. Right? Uh, sunbathing. Wave pirates. Is that in cinematic? Wireframe. Cool. So there's so many places to go. BPM perk. BPM sequences, these are one note songs, basically. Play a note. <laughs> Go up here, get yourself a kick. Have to get a bass. That's the funnest thing with Unify that I, I hope you guys are all enjoying. Is loading patches into existing patches to take four patches and it's like four of your patches from like say Serum or something. You've got to play four different tracks of Serum. Here you just load them up. And off you go. So fun. All right, some more of these. Here's Earth Pad. Again, one note. And look at there's quite a few of these. Piano and flow. Transpose to different notes. Off you go. Santos.
So the sequences are really lovely. Nice to have so many of them. Cool. Uh, Beep with special effects. Take this. Put it with some percussion. Load this into a new unified layer. Kicks. <laughs> Off you go. Pump. Cool transition leading into another part of a song. Very, very cool. Then here are the kicks. Bunch of kicks. Uh, then the perk and flow. So you have those to play. <laughs> Sequence way. And then the wave drum kit. Right? Uh, now you get to sounds that don't have BPM stuff attached. So guitars. But there are still the cool sound effects. Dark rain. Synth pick flow. A bunch of keys. Cloud A200. Park bench. Isn't that cool? Here's some leads. Lovely Lenaris. Then we get to pads. <laughs> My gosh, there are so many pads. There's all these different ASMR where there's... Mystique. Wow, 
want to be able to play the volumes. Bring up the swell. Like I said, if you're a fan of pads or BPM, this library is right down your alley. So nice. Birds of Hope. Ephemeral. Bay. Um. Irish morning. Pure dark. Just the pad by itself. This is probably a good one to show on um, like pure bright. I think it'll also just be the single of the bright pad. Open this up, you can see that you can try the other ones like Space Fox. I guess where it says pure, <laughs> it's just gonna be pure, just by itself. Source of Serenity. Uh, Whisper of Grains. Enigma kind of patches, I can really hear like all sorts of songs with that kind of stuff. Uh, pluck ASMR liquid pizzicato. Here's Aliens. Because the other half of the library, some of the sounds that we've been playing are based on granular manipulation of samples. So there's the more natural sounds of the water and so forth, but there's also these things where it's granular synthesis being used in cool ways. That's more natural. Wow. City, I believe, like... Cars and... Ski lifts. <laughs> Again, these are really cool to like layer with other things. Virtual vinyl, that's cute. And then you have a couple string patches. Uh, Pits lo-fi. Uh, 
underwater. So this, this is a three-layer composite. And then finally, Viola Mar. That's the library. 233 patches. I believe it's about 200 megabytes in size. It's not a huge library in memory size, but there's an awful lot in it. So thank you for your support, for picking this up if you like it. And we'll see you in the next video. Okay, thank you again.